Lyft is in the business of connection. By partnering with our local airports, we're proud to connect the road with the sky. It's important for drivers to follow some simple ground rules to keep things running smoothly. So let's review. For all pickups, head toward arrivals. Veer left at the fork, following the sign for commercial vehicles and buses. Stick to the far right lane after the fork and pull over when you see the sign for Island 1. You're not permitted to pick up at the curbside terminal entrance, so give your passenger a call to let her know where you're waiting. Once your passenger's in the car, confirm their name, then navigate to their destination. If you can't find your passenger, give them a call. You can't wait in the terminal or circle back, so if your passenger needs extra time, head to the TNC holding lot, but only if you're parking in an empty spot. The airport prohibits waiting if you can't find a space. If you're dropping off a passenger, head towards departures. When you've dropped them off, continue on your way. If you'd like, you can wait for another request in the TNC holding lot. Sometimes airport authorities will approach you for proof that you're approved to drive on the Lyft platform. They may ask to see the app to confirm your driver ID and the current ride information. Remember, when you're at the airport, you must be in driver mode and stick with your vehicle at all times. And as always, be sure to keep the Lyft emblem visible so authorities can easily recognize your preferred platform. By following these guidelines, you're helping us secure a great future at the airport. Thanks for taking Lyft to new heights.